Hi, I'm HC. For weekly videos on self-knowledge and self-discovery, like this video and hit the subscribe button. It will be a tremendous help for the future of this channel. Here are four steps on how to build confidence. Step 1. Assess the risk. To assess the risk is to evaluate the pros and cons related to the actions that you are looking to take. In many cases, we have the tendency to imagine things to be way worse than they actually could be, and that is okay. Consider that your mind is a tool, and this tool is always looking to solve a problem and keep you safe. And in most cases, what is comfortable, whether it be good or bad, is what your brain wants to stick with, because change can be scary, and what is scary can potentially be dangerous or unsafe. And what is dangerous can thus potentially cause you harm. And what harms you could potentially put an end to the mind, which the mind absolutely does not want. To assess the risk is to ask yourself, is there impending danger related to the actions that I'm looking to take? Or is it my mind simply crowded with fear? For example, let's say you want to ask someone out on a date. To assess the risk is to consider what are the best and worst case scenarios in this circumstance. The best would probably be that they accept your offer, and the worst would possibly be that they reject your offer. However, in both circumstances you are completely unharmed, unthreatened, and able to try again, regardless of the outcome. So why not try? Always remember. Although danger can be very real, fear only lives in the mind. Step 2. Remember who you are. To remember who you are is to take control of your experiences and to not let negative experiences define you. Simply meaning, appreciate that what you went through does not make you who you are. Our confidence is often obstructed because of how we perceive ourselves. We tell ourselves that we are not good enough or try to convince ourselves that we are not deserving of the things that we are in search of. However, it is important to remember that the journey begins and ends with you. You are the master of your reality. You are the creator. To remember who you are is to consider that you are the person telling yourself and accepting that you are not capable of making the next move, and that no one else has that power to do so. You are in control. It is acknowledging that you have the power to get up and take the first step, to being great, and that no one can take that step for you, no matter how much they would want to. To remember who you are is to show up for yourself and to give yourself a real chance to be. Always remember, what is meant for you cannot pass you, and what passes you was not meant for you, at least not in that moment. Step 3. Reverse Engineer Your Reality This means to consider your current position in life. Genuinely ask yourself, why are you where you are? What makes you who you are? Then ask yourself, what decisions brought you to this point? By reverse engineering your reality, you will be able to take heed to the thoughts and actions that brought you to your current reality, and therefore be conscious of the changes necessary to create a different one for yourself. Reverse engineering your reality will help with confidence because when you can highlight the triggers that you feel make you less confident, you can begin to take the steps necessary to challenge those triggers and consequently become more confident. Think of it this way. Let's say you are wide awake trying to get from your room to the kitchen for a snack, but all the lights are off. By walking in the pitch dark, you are likely to stub your toe on the chair, trip over a wire, or fall over something that you forgot was on the way. However, by turning on the light, you are putting all of those obstacles in evidence so that you are able to circumvent them and get to the snack that was on your mind. Reverse engineering your reality 
works in the same way as turning on the light as it helps you to see what is blocking your path on your journey to becoming a more confident you. Finally, step four, take action. To take action simply means just that. An important element to becoming more confident is actually taking actions. We often get lost in overthought and speculation. However, only with action can you create a reference point so that you are able to do more or do better in the future. Think of this like an actual grid. By taking action, you are putting a point on the grid, a point that you can eventually evaluate and study, and thus a point that can encourage you to take another action, thus creating a new point on the grid. And with the data of two points on the grid, you are able to evaluate the results of your actions so that you can have even more success on your next goal. Now, consider not taking any action at all. Then there will be no points on the grid. And therefore, nothing at all to reference to. And because nothing is actually happening in reality. Everything is only going on in your head. To take action is to go for it, before your mind is crowded with thoughts or halted by fear, and to trust that you too are capable of great things. To take action is to show up for yourself and accept that things are not only reserved for other people. You too are deserving of great things. With confidence, you are able to grow forward independently of the thoughts, opinions, and preferences of others. A confident person will be able to accept their predicament and strive forward to change or improve it because they trust that it is possible. In contrast, a lack of confidence encourages a life in confusion, suppressed and controlled by everyone else but you. This is why knowing how to build confidence is such an important factor on the journey of you becoming your best you. Thank you for watching this video until the end. You are appreciated. Like and share this video with a friend and consider subscribing if you haven't already. I'll see you here next time on How Will Consultations, the how-to to being true to you.